Hey there, friends. If you are bored of Minecraft, you gotta try this villager challenge. Let me show you what it's all about. Well, first things first, I fixed the barn because last time, well, it was ugly as sin. When I was starting up to record this, I checked the rules again. The granary must have at least two silos for effect. For a feck is right, for feck's sake. How can I make a silo in Minecraft? We've still got to get more villagers, which I think we need more bread. So they'll go to bed and make little mini villagers. You're not old enough for me to go into detail on that. Luckily, we got some wheat ready to go. What are you doing? What do you want from me? He keeps following me. This is the only villager with the job. I need to start naming them. Oh, a rope. Looks like the llamas broke free. Oh, <laughs> Or the villagers have killed the wandering trader, one or the other. I found some iron in that ship last time, so this time I'm gonna make some tools. And by that I mean tool, because I can't- Oh wait, no, hold on, I'm missing sticks. There we go, I'm happy with that. Oh wait, no I'm not actually, I'm really unhappy with that. There we go, now I'm happy with that. It's gonna be very hard for me to get any more iron, so I hope that wasn't a waste. But I'm gonna need some wood if I wanna build these damn silos. I can't go five layers under the village for mining, and I need to support the mines as I'm in them. For that reason, I'm gonna expand the village down this way so we get even lower. Unfortunately, I did originally build on a hill, which was not a good idea in hindsight. But hindsight is 20 and 20, and that makes him a boomer, so he can just feck off, all right? You know what my main concern about this is? It's not the fact that I have to build silos. It's that it's gonna look awful. Like, I'm gonna have to dress it up, and it's gonna ruin my village no matter what I do. Okay, remember, I have to fill it with sand, so I don't want it to be that big. Oh my god, they are ridiculously high and then I jump off it. I'm so intelligent. Oh man, that is way higher than I hoped it would be. <laughs> I am just breaking my legs over and over again. Don't worry, nothing a, a little snack won't wear off. I'm not sure why I'm not doing more than one at a time. <laughs> Probably should have started with this strategy. Or perhaps I could, you know, just do a few at a time instead of making individual towers. You know, it's all a learning process, being the village leader. That's a little bit depressing, isn't it? I'm the smartest one in the village. Oh, we have two iron golems now. Happy day. I don't even know how they spawn. Okay, so the silos are kind of done. I want to make them a bit more flashy and then I have to add the sand, of course. They don't look too good right now. In fact, the dead are rising up to tell me how bad it is. But I'm gonna go get some sand because I need that as well as their next challenge, which is creating a fishing hut near a body of water and I want to make like a little synthetic beach for it. I'd do anything for my villages, except, you know, care for them. I just like that the place looks nice. Ah, you know why I hate sugarcane? Because of the way it is. Anyway, I'm gonna go get some sand. Do silos have doors? Surely they must have little hatches, you know, they get to get at the grass or whatever silos do. I'm also gonna try a strategy of dressing up the silos without looking at it from the outside and just hoping for the best. And also breaking my legs again. All right, I think that'll look really cool, I hope. Although they must be connected, mustn't they? I was going to jump off again and break my legs and then I realized, why don't I just stack sand and then I only have to half break them and then jump off and half break them again. So they're fully broken in total. Okay, they're connected there. You got the little hatch. I can put a trap door on that. Oh, I got excited. <laughs> I hit every key except for the right one. And that's connected there. That's that's normal, right? That's what farms do. <laughs> no, that, that feels too low. But look at that. Trap door, huh? Looks good. Wait, would it be more support rather than feeding into it? I could I could build it a support. That's easy. There. Does that look like it supports it? I feel like it does. Ow! I think I'll end up changing that. I can't say I'm delighted with it, but it'll do for now. Um, I don't know how villagers, like, uh, do the deed, and... I don't really want to Google it. Can you guys just, like, make baby? Oh, they're looking at each other. Maybe... No, okay, not. Breeding villagers. I don't need to say Minecraft when I search for that, do I? Okay, yeah, three bread should do the trick. So I just gotta grow more bread. I also want to keep shearing these sheep because I eventually want to dye the wool red and then change the barn to a red barn. Okay, planted more wheat and I have quite a bit myself. I think I can make one villager want to breed. All right, the fisherman. <laughs> Since you know he's doing such a great job, he deserves to be... You really gonna do that, bro? Are you really gonna steal that bread? Stop it, man. Oh, he's trying to eat it in his sleep. God damn. Dude, go to sleep. All right, there. He's not getting out now. <laughs> Here. Have your bread. He's freaking out. Okay. No, you have to have all three of them. 
Yes, okay, now you can sleep. I just wanted to give it to him because at least I know who he is now. He's the only one who has a hat. I also need more beds. I'm thinking maybe I live in the barn for now because I don't want to live with them, to be honest with you. Like... Even that noise alone kind of really explains it, doesn't it? Okay, so I sleep in the barn. <laughs> I'm fine with that. If it was good enough for Jesus, it's good enough for me. Oh, also, check this out. I wanted to make like a crane thing. See, now it's got a, a crane thing hanging out the front of the, the barn. <laughs> I, I thought it would look cooler. I don't know. Okay, so we're out of bread and I really want you to hurry up and have babies. Uh, but don't worry, I have a plan. I'll be right back. I'm a builder. I'm a provider. Oh, and I'm a fighter. But now it's time to be a spy. Ah, I mean... I'm ready. Hello there, lads. It's me, another normal villager. <laughs> look at him. I think he knows something is up. No, bro, it's just new haircut. Let me look at your bread while I'm here. I'm from a different village where we actually, we don't, we don't like bread, so I won't be taking it or anything. Where the hell is everything? <gasps> it's the fornication mother load. Perfect. <laughs> they won't even notice. It's basically the same as normal villager clothes. Honestly, it just makes me look like a buff villager. They'll never mess with me. I kind of understand why my village just don't work like these people work all their lives and then the main character just comes over and steals their entire harvest oh there's another village over there as well we got some competition okay operation wheat heist is completed now i just need to escape oh wait no that's the the good stuff that's what they need i'll eat mutton instead that doesn't turn them on whatsoever oh my god these people have such better land like other than the fact it's ugly as shit like they, they got horses and bees and everything you know bees in the village would be really cool. Can I just take a small slice of this, maybe? It made a noise. I didn't like it. I'm running away. Okay, gang, pick up some bread. You hot under the collar yet, or no? <laughs> oh, I know that look if I see it. I can feel the tension. Oh, never mind. It was just regular tension. Sorry, bro. <laughs> Sorry, I set you up. But uh, don't push up on me. It's not my fault. Or does he have eyes for another? <laughs> hey, you want to be turned on too? Here, take some bread. Yes, I knew it. I, I mean, this time for sure, right? I set you up, bro. Oh, yes, baby time. Bread time. Bread time, everyone. And yes, that's bread time not bedtime well same thing really because you're gonna have to make a child in exchange for being fed oh my god don't fight over it don't fight over it stop if you just oh now another person has entered oh and he just left with the bread oh another person has come in he's just like hey is this where the bread's at guys you you're patient you get no do it all right, he's done. Okay, I'm just throwing all the bread on the ground and you guys just eat it off the dirt, okay? And then get hot under the collar or whatever happens. Oh, I forgot I look like this. They must be like, who is this handsome new villager that's joined us? <gasps> I see hearts. We got another baby on the way. Come on, come out of there, you. Time to upgrade my village. What do you mean don't look? You get out of the way. There he is. All right, thanks for your service, everyone. You're good for something after all. Wait a second. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, oh God, can you all just stay still for just a a second. It's like the feckin' Mario Party minigame. Seven. Eight. Oh, I'm missing two villagers still. I thought that was it. All right, well, I got lots more bread where that comes from. I'm... No, get your own. Jesus Christ, dude. It's the same guy at it again. Okay, you have bread. You're in bed. You know what to do. Two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I think, Jesus, the kid is agile. The kid is literally taking all of the bread. Stop taking the bread. Oh, it's hopeless. I don't, I don't care about this house. You don't get to reproduce then. That's on you. All right, any more kids, everyone? <laughs> Has anyone made any more kids? Oh, <gasps> yes. Yes, have another one. Yeah, good. Oh my god, it's getting a little crowded. Okay, the next step, as well as trying to upgrade to the next level, will definitely be making proper housing for the villagers. <laughs> babysitting, huh? Well, there's three now. That's good. I only need one more child in the village. Hey, you two seem to be hitting it off. You want some bread, you know? A little social lubricant? All right. Go for it. Yeah. Go. What? Yeah, whatever you want. It's fine. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> you can pick one of them. Yes. Okay, someone found love in that mess, or maybe all three of them. Hell, I don't care. Oh, there he is, you little rascal. That's my bed, by the way. I sleep in the barn, away from all you monsters. Oh, no. Oh, God, they're, they're making more. <laughs> I may have been too generous with the bread. There are children. Won't someone please think of the children? Anyway, to level up the village again, I'm going to need that fishing hut, and I need some general improvements. Oh, great. There they go. Half and into the fields. A <laughs> wild little bunch, aren't they? Okay, one of my next tasks is to build the fishing hut, and I kind of want... <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> they're all just following the leader and I think he's just running terrified from them. So I think I will build the little dock out here and a little stairs down or something. I think that would look cool. God, my inventory's a mess. I have loads of sand for the fake beach though. Okay, does that look somewhat natural? I think it looks okay. I would have liked it a bit bigger, but the sand doesn't go as far as I wanted it to. There we go. That looks pretty nice. I wish I had more of that wood actually for the hut. You know what? I'm not satisfied with my beach. I want more sand. I want it to be a beach that you visit once and you're finding sand in your shoes, your pants, all of your clothes, parts of your body for the rest of your life. It also kind of works out because I'm kind of ruining this land. So if any other village tries to move in here, it's like, oh, you're off to a pretty bad start. You know, the place is a mess. Oh, I missed the boat. <laughs> that was supposed to be really cool. Please clap. Every morning I wake up and I shave the sheep. I really don't want to destroy this whole ship because I think it looks cool on the horizon. But at the same time, look how pathetic that dock looks. I bet you can't even see it, can you? That's more like it. Now that's a dock. Okay, I feel like I might have been a bit too stingy on the size of the fisherman's little house. I might extend it just a tiny bit. Like I live in a barn for God's sake. It's not like I'm living in luxury or anything. I think I'm going to need some stone for the roof of that and the roof of the huts because they look pretty awful but for that I'm gonna have to construct like a proper mine with support beams and such. I kind of like the idea of it being down here maybe underneath the village that works and it, and it does work with the rules right? So my village is on this layer one two three four Awesome. I like that my guy has just showed up here, decided to build his village, have all these people relying on him. He's like, yep, I know how much the land can uh, hold. I'm sure the load structure is totally fine with that cave underneath it. Get out. I don't care if you're a kid. This is my bed. Yeah, stand and stare all you want. <laughs> oh God, he was just killing something when I woke up. Oh no, not my beautiful village. Here, blow up this tree. That'll actually help me a little bit. All right, and you killed your friend. <laughs> Excellent. Oh no, they're making more babies. <laughs> I don't know who. <laughs> two of the three. Okay, he walked off. I assume it's these two. Okay, that's about 10 blocks. That ought to hold her. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough stone for now. It's really awkward to mine with these rules in place. There we go. A lovely entrance as well, all supported. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. What do you think? Oh, you won't even bother looking at my hard work. I see how it is. You know what? I feel a bit miserable giving him a hut of this size. Not because I feel bad for them, just it looks out of proportion. <laughs> looks too tall when it's that small. So I'm going to put it right into the, the hill here. Oh, dude, come on. I, you know what? You live in the fishing hut now, I suppose. <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> yeah, I installed the dance floor just for you. I was thinking of you while I built it. I made the little bed here since it's narrow. Get out of the bed, all right? You know what? I'm sleeping here today because it's as far away as possible from you guys and I'm blocking your face with a sugar cane so I won't have nightmares again. This is getting really annoying. <laughs> I'm trying to just build around this dude, but he won't get out of the way. He's always where I need to be. You know what? You want to beat it back there? Fine. You know, you, you go back there. What? Oh my god, I accidentally hit him and he just smashed me. At least I spawned right here. Oh my god, you're a feckin' pain, you know that? You know what? Yeah, you can you can stay back there. Totally fine with it. And gone forever. <laughs> I kind of like it. It works. You can even fish from the roof up here if you wanted. That's not a bad roof for now. It has a different wood in the middle. I can spruce it up a little bit. Like, now it's spruce wood because I don't have much. But I'll spruce it up like in the other sense of the word. I am in pain because they keep smacking open and closing the doors. I guess they don't really have anything else to entertain themselves with. But I'm also in pain, like window pain. I, I've got some panes here to install on the fishing hut. Does it need another window? I have two. It might need one more window. There. Yeah, three windows was definitely the right call. Aesthetically, it looks the nicest. There we go. And I've converted this side into a little dungeon. Okay, there we go. You're locked up for attempted murder. And unfortunately, you're so early into the village that we actually don't really have a criminal system yet. So you're just found guilty. <laughs> Good luck. Ah, oh, feckin' hell, he's still dangerous, everyone. Stay back. Ah, oh, 
feck! <laughs> Should have uh, included myself in that requirement there. Uh, get up, it's bedtime. Wait, no, will my stuff disappear? I won't be able to sleep unless I check. Got some of my blocks. Well, there's feck all you can do with those, buddy. His eyes are all bloodshot. Look at him, he's evil incarnate. There we go, locked up for good. You're never gonna hurt another me again. Got a little sidetracked, but uh, we're pretty much done. Anytime I come over here to craft, I feel like I'm actually gonna snap. <laughs> the amount of noise is just too much for my little ears. I'm creating a nice calming water feature before I lose the will to live and snap on these villagers. I think they're having a town meeting without me, by the way. They're planning an uprising or something. Maybe a prison break. A dirt bridge will not do for my village. Our standards are way higher than that. Like, look how much effort I put into our little dungeon. Right, yeah, no, it, it really helps, guys. I appreciate the, the supervisors, you know? Anything could go wrong here on the farm, so it's great to have you around for safety. <laughs> Okay, so I have an idea to connect these up. So it's like a flow from there and it goes down and downhill and down through there. So I just needed to come out here. There we go. It's flowing straight in. Okay, it works. Excellent. I hope my villagers appreciate that. Something tells me they will not. Okay, I've got a little bit of clearing of dirt here to do, but I don't have enough iron to make an iron shovel and it's a bit painful doing it with stone ones. So I'll hold off for now, but I like this. I want to put in a little support for the bridge too, just because you you know, I know on my villagers falling in and then me having to go save them. Get up or I'll kill you. <laughs> you can tell I really care about them. Okay, I put in a little support. I'll put in a better one when I actually have... Well, better blocks. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I want to go to a jungle biome. I usually hate them because they're so awkward to get through, but I want some decorations I can use. For now, I will just scatter these around here. Make it look like they grew naturally. That looks nice. Yeah, childbirth hurts. Sorry. There's a lot more work to do, but for now, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new, and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.